Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel which gives me the perfect opportunity to keep you guys updated with things that are fang on in the world of Transformers. And right now at this moment with the 40th anniversary, the impending new movie and everything else that's going on, there's literally exactly that. So much to show you. So let's break this little video down for you. Let's have a quick look. If you head to TFW 2005 right now, you can see another little TV clip. This time though it's Optimus Prime version. This is Megatron. So at the moment, I'm still managing to stay away from all of that. So I've not seen it. I presume it's very, very good. Um, and as I say, as we wait for the impending release of the movie, I'm doing pretty good at not watching much on it anyway. So if you want to watch it, head to TFW 2005 to see that mini clip. OK, another Transformers game that's been confirmed. This is Roblox Drive World Collaboration. This has been confirmed that they've teamed up with popular online game platform Roblox. Again, more information on that is on TFW 2005 right now as we speak so as i expect and as we expect there's going to be games there's going to be toys there's loads of merch there's absolutely everything it's crazy back to normal generations figures though this is some photos of some figures that are on pre-order for us as well but in japan because they stagger their different pre-orders and release dates out these are the new images they've got of legacy motor master now again we've seen some of these but the reason why i like to focus on it is because uh takara tend to often do some different photos ones that we haven't sort of seen before so this figure looks amazing if you want to see this without the glare then head obviously to takara tomi's um official uh pre-order well website let's be honest um i just like to say share these images because and of course we've got bumblebee movie frenzy i like to share these images because as i say sometimes they show us things that we haven't seen put them in different poses etc um, and as I say, we are still waiting for these, all of these in the UK uh, to get their official release as well. Right. This is new images. Again, this is Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime in hand images. So this is via Twitter user Robo Robo. And what this basically is, so if you remember, we've been, I suppose, previewing this for quite a bit. This is the much, much larger version of Orion Pax Stroke Optimus Prime from TF1. Uh, it's the one that's around about $80. And let's just show you it because it looks so, so good. I think initially you can't tell the size of this. The images do look really good. He's fully posable. Um, it doesn't look too much different from the, you know, the Studio Series version. Apart from there, you can perhaps see that you can change his face. Uh, the user at this particular moment in time, for some reason, has decided to power him up with COG. And that's what I was on about there. So you can lift the head up, you can turn the faceplate around, you can change it. So you've got an Orion Pax face or indeed an Optimus Prime. There's the alternate mode. And again, it's probably not until you see the next image, which is going to give you the full idea of just how much bigger this is than the Studio Series one. So that's Origins Bumblebee um, on the back looking absolutely tiny. So I'm still thinking about getting that figure. I've not pre-ordered it yet, uh, but I do really like the look of it. Sticking with Transformers 1, 30 MDLX. So 30 is a company licensed by Hasbro and Takara. They make um, action figures, basically that. But you can interchange the hands, stuff like that, or the accessories. We're going to be looking at Alita 1 in this particular video. She's 5.1 inches tall, 13 centimetres. 46 points of articulation guys so as i keep saying about yolo park about these sort of figures if you're after non-transforming figures which sounds like you know a bit of a daft thing to say considering the transformers but if you just want something that looks screen accurate exactly like she does right there that's the accessories that come with her this is what she looks like in hand she looks like she's just fell off the movie screen which is of course what they're going for and because she doesn't transform the beauty of it is there's no kibble there's no extra parts which they don't need you know they just literally are making a screen accurate robot toy which as you can see with 46 points of articulation is insane these images are available on t formers tfw 2005 look how many there is there and of course the 30 official website as well if you want to check that out but there we go that is elita one Moving on quickly to some third party. This is Dreamstar Toys. This is their take on a what, scrapper. They call it obviously Scrapper from Devastator. Interestingly, they're calling him Forklift Warrior though, even though he wasn't a forklift. But you can get these images from Dreamstar's Weibo, or as I've got them from once again, TFW 2005. So this is an interesting take on another Devastator. Now, Devastator is going to be the buzzword for the next six to 12 months, I think. We've got Dreamstar making them. I believe we've got Fans Toys making a Devastator. And of course, we've got a Studio Series 86. So at the moment, as I say, very much the buzzword. These, I believe, though, are masterpiece scale figures. 
as you can see, highly articulate, highly detailed, and just as I say, with their own twist. So they're not, you know, treading too much on Hasbro and Takara's toes, but they do look good. Um, again, this is the first time we've seen these in color. Full combined mode will look amazing as well with these. And again, I'll show you exactly where you can pre-order all of these in a second. Very quickly, this is Transformers 2007 NBE1, which was their Megatron. The maquette for Transformers 40th anniversary is going to be on display at the Expo in Japan. So this is going to be huge. That starts this weekend. So we've got Hasbro Pulse on the Friday and then in Tokyo over that whole weekend, they've got a huge 40th anniversary expo. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be so good. Um, even though I'm not going, I'm going to be covering quite a lot with videos and hopefully seeing loads of reveals what they're going to be showing. Um, it, yeah, it starts, as I say here, from the 13th of September right through to the 29th. Though. Um, and you'll be able to see this if you're lucky enough to go there. I, that's huge i can't there's unfortunately there's no pictures of any actual people standing either side of it it looks to be something whether it was used in the movie or not i don't know it just says this looks like an enormous and very detailed frozen megatron it doesn't say if it was from the movie i presume it wasn't because it was cgi but again you'll be able to see that fully built and on display via images or if you're there in person okay guys this is where you can order most of your figures from so here you go as well as hasbro pulse this covers well this is obviously show z so this is all figures apart from mainline generations and um studio series but you can see you can still order masterpiece god bomber you can order dr Wu figures you can order the new age dinobots there's the scrapper figure i just showed you there there's also on here this the missing link sentinel prime there's a transformers one yolo park figures three zero figures um, as I say, and you can see by here, more masterpiece figures, etc. Movie masterpiece. Um, it's just an abundance. DNA upgrade kits. It's everything, as I just said, everything apart from mainline figures. So keep your eyes out on what's on pre-order there. I'm going to be doing a news update every day this week because there's so much going on. And there's, of course, there's PulseCon and then there's the event in Tokyo. And of course, keeping the, the figure reviews up to date as well. This one will be later and I've got a load of third party and the other rest of the Star Raiders to do as well. As always, guys, thanks for the support. Take care.